Hey everybody, it's Ben here, and today I'm going to take apart a big battery pack, which I have right next to me here. Uh, this thing weighs about a thousand pounds. Lots of people have gone to salvage yards and bought uh, maybe a battery pack from a crashed Nissan Leaf or Chevy Volt, taken those apart and used them for projects from do-it-yourself electric cars to maybe uh, storage for a solar system. Uh, so what I'm gonna do today is this box here was out of a electric delivery truck. There were actually two of them. So a uh, friend and I uh, got these yesterday. I took apart, took apart the first box and the results of that you can actually see down here. It's these green batteries. And what's really cool about them is essentially they're just all 12 volt batteries strung together. So it makes for a really easy disassembly of this. Um, a lot of those car battery packs, they're like individual cells and you have to be super duper careful dealing with high voltage. So of course, before doing something like this, make sure any kind of manual disconnect is removed disabled, uh, whatever to make the pack uh, safe to work on. Always check all the connections with uh, a multimeter first, make sure there's no live power. So uh, let's go to time-lapse mode, start taking this box apart. So now that I actually have a view inside here, there are still two power cables. I'll have to disconnect those, and then I'll be able to remove the cover. Looks like they're pretty small connectors, maybe eight millimeter. I'll pull those off next. Okay, this now definitely gets interesting having taken the cover off. We can see a lot of the orange high voltage cables. Uh, those look like they're probably two gauge. And again, uh, orange is typically the indicator that, hey, it's high voltage, don't mess with this, don't touch this. And of course, what I'm doing is checking everything with uh, my voltmeter uh, bef before <laughs> touching anything. Um, it's interesting, the parts that are in here, a lot of this is uh, pretty straightforward stuff, you know, some nice big fuses, you know, things that I recognize from working on uh, DIY projects, including, for example, some of these contactors. Uh, these are Tyco contactors, uh, EV200s. Those are super, super common in uh, do-it-yourself electric vehicles, and there's four of them right here. Uh, right in the middle, we have the Valence U-Charge BMS unit. Um, looks like some, uh, another pair of big contactors over here. Those weren't in the other pack. So I think those are really like the main, main contactors for the entire system. Uh, I'm not quite sure what this is down here, uh, but I do see a couple little 12 volt relays or uh, uh, 24 volt rather, and some resistors. So it's possible that might be a pre-charge system for the motor controller. The four cables coming out of the bottom of the box, uh, those are what go up to these uh, big contactors that uh, were not uh, in the other battery box. And it looks so like what they do uh, is they're, they're connecting, um, my best guess here is that it connects this pack in parallel up with the other pack. Um, but it looks like essentially I just have to pull these cables through um, so I might just chop the ends here just because that electrical tape is probably not going to fit through there. Then I can pull them through, then I can get this off. Okay. I do see one more cable connecting things. And it looks like it's probably a lot easier just to disconnect at the battery terminals. Um, these are kind of nice here that uh, these battery bolts, uh, they're 22 millimeter and they're already covered with plastic. Uh, there's, but there's like one little hole in the middle of them. You know, it's sort of designed so you can still put a volt tester in there, 
um, but it would be extremely difficult to short circuit them. Uh, I can definitely feel there is some Loctite on there, some sort of a thread adhesive. Um, even once I'm torquing this open, uh, I can feel the resistance of thread locks, so that might be a little bit of a pain to clean out later. But uh, all these terminals are nice and clean, and uh, the other thing that's kind of cool is right now I can see flashing green LEDs on the batteries themselves, uh, basically just showing they're good condition, they're ready to go. So now this entire thing is ready to, ready to come off, and this can be set off to the side now. Ugh, it's still not light. <laughs> Jeez, a lot of heavy parts here. Uh, we can see the actual batteries in here. Uh, these are um, valence U-charge uh, lithium iron magnesium phosphate batteries. It's the XP U27 12 XP batteries. 12.8 uh, volt, 138 amp hour, uh, 1,766 watt hour. So 1.7 kilowatt hour each, you know, per battery. Anywhere there's one of these plastic zip ties, I'm just gonna cut that with the side cutters and remove it. Anywhere there's one of these BMS cables, I'm just gonna lift that little latch and pull to disconnect it. All the battery bolts, I'm gonna use a 22 millimeter socket and remove them. and then remove any cables. And now that I got all the, uh, the cables off this thing, there's sort of a spacer in the middle. It kind of locks everything in place. I can pull that out. And we're at the point now where I should actually be able to pull batteries out. Uh, one thing that's nice is that they do have a uh, integrated Lifting strap, here goes. Oh, nice and light. Now I can take out the middle tray. And then all this, same thing again. Uh, cut the zip ties, um, unplug the BMSs, disconnect the high voltage power cables, carry the batteries out. So that's gonna be about it for today. I got all the batteries out of the box here. At least they're nice, small, uh, handleable sizes now, and I can move this, get this out of here. Uh, the other great thing is, again, these are basically 12 volt batteries. So these are gonna be per perfect for everything from electric cars, solar storage, power walls, uh, boat trolling motor batteries, and pretty much anything else you can think of. So I'll have to get these cleaned up, get them neatly stacked off to the side. Uh, as always, Take a look for links and more information in the video description. Check out the blog post at 300mpg.org. Uh, like, share, subscribe, and until next time, stay charged up.